Hello everyone, so now we are in a position to really start diving into the work energy theorem. So in this question we have a 50 kilogram person is on a slide where the friction force is equal to 10 newtons. Determine the velocity of the person at the bottom of the 5 meter long slide which is inclined at 20 degrees. So let's quickly draw a picture of what's happening here. So there we have it guys, what the forces that we're going to have, that's very important, we're going to have a force of gravity trying to pull the person down, that's gravity parallel. There's going to be friction trying to slow the person down. There's gravity perpendicular. And then there is the normal force. The ones that we are interested in are the ones that are in the direction of motion. And so those are FG parallel and force of friction. So it says that determine the velocity of the person. So we can use the W net equals to change in EK. Now we know that W net, well we know first of all that W is equal to F times delta X times cos theta. So if we want W net, then we must use F net. Like that, like that. Now remember there's two ways you can do this. You can either do it separately or combined. From now on, I'm just going to do the combined method as it's a bit faster. So in the F net, you're going to have FG parallel, which is going down the slope, and then we're going to have minus the force of friction. Then we're going to have delta X, and then we're going to have cos theta. Now we know that Fg parallel is equal to Mg sin theta. And so that's going to be Mg sin parallel, or sorry, sin theta, minus the force of friction times by delta x times by cos theta. And so the mass of the person is 50, gravity is 9.8, we're going to say sin of 20, then friction is 10 newtons, I'm going to say minus 10, then the length of the slide is going to be 5 meters, and okay, so F net. Well, we know that F net is going to be acting down the slope because your person's gravity is typically going to be more than friction. They're not really going to try to confuse you with that, but it could, yes, yeah, so you must just always look out for that. But we know that friction is going to be smaller than the, the force of gravity parallel. If you don't believe me, you could quickly go work it out over here. And so we know that the net force is going to be acting down the slope and the person's also moving down the slope and so we're just going to use cos of zero. So even though friction acts upwards, when you use this method, you have to look at F net as a whole. Now F net as a whole is going to act down the slope and the object's moving down the slope and so we can say cos zero. And so if you go type all of that in on the calculator, you're going to realize that W net is equal to 787.95 joules. Now we know that W net is equal to change in EK. And change in EK is EK final minus EK initial. Now kinetic energy is equal to a half mv squared, okay? And so 787.95 is equal to a half, then the mass of the object is 50. The velocity final, that's what we're trying to calculate, so we don't know what that is. Then the mass initial is also 50. Now they haven't given us the initial velocity, but when this happens, you should assume, or you should think about the question, when you get to the top of a slide, okay, so you're about to go down a slide, you're not moving at the top of the slide, and so your initial velocity will be zero. So we'll say zero squared. I mean, yes, you could technically shoot yourself so that you go faster, but when they don't give you any information, you have to come up with some assumptions. And so now it's just a matter of solving. So 787.95 is equal to a half of 50, which is 25 V squared. Now this whole part just becomes zero, and so that just falls away. And so we can say 787.95 divided by 25, and then you can square root your answer. And so we end up with a final velocity of 5.65 meters per second. And so guys, always remember that the W net part, I'm using the F net change in X times cos theta method. But there is that other method that we looked at where you could say W net is going to be equal to W A for force applied or gravity, sorry, parallel, plus W friction. And then we went and did each of those separately, and then you combine them. Both ways are going to give you the same answer, so you must please make sure that you understand the differences, and you are welcome to do whichever one you like. Thank you for watching this video.